Test, test, we on? Yeah. Is this thing live? Are we there? Yeah. guys here we are we got uh, an invite from Dutch boy we're at a uh, farm site here uh, outside of Harrisburg and uh, he's already metal detected here uh, so we just pulled up on the place uh, Sunday morning and uh, Josh is in go 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 mode <laughs> So I'll do some video here. Uh, otherwise, you guys probably won't see anything if I'm not the guy talking and videoing. So uh, follow along. We'll see what we got. You want to see the... Oh, sorry. What we've got here that uh, Dustin called us to take a look at. Let's Turn this see. around here. Is uh, Privy. The remains of... Uh, yeah concrete what's, cap what's in the the, uh, cap thing? the concrete box a lot of these were put in um, oh what the heck was it WPA works uh, works uh, something back during like the war the depression or the depression um, as a way of uh, providing work for people it's sort of like the new modern outhouse um, I think where they uh, you know gave you a plan or whatever to follow as far as pouring these up um they came with a base and this is where the seat was uh the seat sat in kind of at an angle so uh yeah what we'll do we'll see if we can flip this off usually these caps are just uh you know a couple inches thick so hopefully we can lift it up and toss it over and uh give it a peek um with this being on the top it's probably not real early um but uh and uh, if it was during the depression out here, they may not have had a whole lot of money, but we'll uh, we'll flip it off, see what we got, and uh, we'll get back to you here in a little bit. Got the top off of that. Yeah. And now we got uh, we got a hole. We got some poo. We so got some uh, poo. we'll take a look here with a shovel see what we get um you know my suspicion is you know 30s 40s 50s stuff um but uh we'll uh, we'll shovel into it and see what's there we are getting some shards here is that a bean pot um what the hell is that ladle ladle no it's too big for that uh i don't know what that is um there's some shards so we do got a couple shards coming out here Uh, this piece here is Calden out of Harrisburg. CH. Not marked, but definitely has the uh, the Calden glaze. That's good. Uh, so we're just right in the top right now. Um, there's a fuse out of the house that uh, burn out. Um, a lot of shards, a lot of pieces coming right here on the top. But uh, we'll see what happens. Look at that. No, right here. That, 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 that. Oh, that. Or a hutch. There's a... Uh, Is that a hutch? Well, guys, maybe prove me wrong on this one here. We'll see what happens. Dustin. But uh, Dustin that knows is... Uh, that's definitely a piece of a Hutchinson right there. So... Yep. Told you, man. Oyster shell. There's a hook. Ah, good eye. Dude. What's up? That's old, dude. All right, what is that? Um, that looks like an old. Um, oh, it's uh, that. Uh, is that carnival? Yeah, it's that black. Yeah, real dark carnival uh peacock or whatever they call yeah. it yeah it's pretty stuff 
Well, I'm glad Seth's not here. Why is that? Because if I find a marble, I'm keeping it. <laughs> All right, first thing was a little bit of uh, embossing on. Um, oh. Massachusetts, I should know what that is. Uh, oh. We're getting in there, we're throwing up a few shards. Um, here's the bottom of a uh, milk bottle. Heck of a cow bone here. They were eating pretty well. But uh, another, <laughs> another big one here. So they, uh, they're they definitely eating. These are a lot bigger pieces than we find in town in some of the older pits. But uh, Josh has, uh, he said you can see a little bit of the wood line over there at the edge. Um, yeah, you want to take that and show them the wood? There's the old wood line from the privy. So it steps in a little bit from what the top was. So we got the uh, we got the top off here and um, taking a look at shards and seeing what we get out of it. Uh, we found two pieces. I don't know if you this was on film or not, but we did find uh, right on the very top There was a piece of uh, blob top and also a piece of a Hutchinson um, Just small shards of them So we're not sure where they came from um, Didn't find any more of the bottles other than those pieces But uh, we're gonna keep digging a little bit and we're in the hole. So we'll just see what comes out um Hoping maybe we do get down to some milk bottle age. Um, oh, and Josh found that clay marble. And uh, yeah, apparently Josh got a clay marble. That uh, since Seth isn't here, it uh, went into his pocket. Test, test, we on? Yeah. Is this thing live? Are we there? Yeah. Do, you, there ed do you edit it or not? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so but I'm not editing none of your stuff. Uh, uh, every screw up, every fall, everything. <clears throat> well, guys. <laughs> I love guy. I, honestly, I don't care what you put I on know, for me. I know. I mean, unless I like tear my britches. Um, well, I wouldn't do that. Well, I'll just make sure you like put a little blurry thing there. Oh. You see my butt <laughs> hanging out. All right, guys. So I did see something in the hole. I think it's a medicine. No idea age wise. Uh, we did pull shard out over there that looked fairly early um so but this med down here um because i got all the other tools in the truck we'll just go with the uh trusty old knife and uh see if i can get down oh there's a piece of bennington yeah let me see here let me be up well, guys, it's a chance that I uh, do have a broken uh, top on it. Fresh break. Uh, fresh break, probably. That was. We'll blame that on Josh. So, mm. um, that's one of those ones, uh, like a toiletry bottle. I forget what was in these. Something uh, bathroom-wise or something like that. So, all right, that's probably 1930s. Uh, no, it's spices, McCormick. Yeah. Hold on. We're probably back up in the 50s. So. Is this screw top? I, yeah, it was definitely a screw yeah, top. Hey, it's a fine. And uh, a fine. there you can see some of the wood that was aside. So, alrighty, we'll, uh, we'll give you back to Josh. We, uh, Josh hit bottom and uh, didn't really find anything. The older shards were coming out of the top in the fill layer. Um, no whole pieces, just those two blob tops and a piece of another early uh, like utility or I don't know what it was, just the bottom piece. Hard to, hard to tell exactly what it was. But uh, so he's just sort of fluffing out here at the top, um, digging through the fill and uh, Hopefully pop something whole out, but um, the only thing we found whole was that one bottle I showed you a little bit ago. 
um, a McCormick spice bottle, um, and a piece of glass, but looked newer. And uh, there's a glass, uh, one glass button. That's clay too. That's clay. So we're it. trying to hit wood line. So the right there, uh, right there's the best thing to come out, guys. And uh, we're gonna get this uh, finished up, filled in. And uh, Dustin said uh, might have another spot we can at least go take a look and uh, see if we can find anything. Don't know if we're gonna be digging today or not um, anymore, but. Uh, <laughs> Josh said he's done. <laughs> so here we are at this uh, roadside dump. Um, kind of like a ravine here. Um, pretty good size. Uh, Dustin's been here a time or two before um, rooting around. And he said that the, uh, the former owner was here for years um, just sort of picking bottles off the surface. So uh, kind of what I'm doing right now is a little recon kind of get an idea of what we have here so uh turn you around sort of give you an idea um some different patches of stuff um glass laying around uh, a lot of it's 30s 40s 50s 60s you know probably even 1980s 90s but uh, a lot of mason jar lids um, which is pretty standard um are finding a few things here um blob top uh, another maybe like citrate um, top there and uh, a couple flask um, so we got those couple things uh, just surface finds didn't really find any um, pockets uh, or any areas that look like a lot of early stuff um, so it's possible that uh, you know it's mixed down through here late throws um, here's a uh, a uh, piece of a crock, um, probably 1880s, 1910 period. Um, let's see. Looks like they dropped a whole bunch of uh, uh, chocolate chips. So, uh, they don't look too bad. Um, let me see if they get there any good here. Um, Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> um, all right, so those chocolate chips weren't the best. Um, we'll keep looking around here, see what else we get. Okay, so this was the old cider press. It had been around like in the 1858 map, it was here. So, horse and carriage would come in around the outskirt here. If you look here, this is the wall, and it is the actual wall. And then horse would come through, they would pick up their cider. In here would be the machinery, which, okay, they did get the, the gears, they were over there. Um, horse would come around. If they had any issues at this door, they would um, take care of any horse issues, like in, there's some horse tack to prove it. Um, basically the whole wall had horse tack on it and it burnt down and when we, dug it out we, we found all the buckles but uh this was a neat place there's a million shards of bottle or glass from their um cider bottles around here too and i have no no idea where all these oysters came from and, and guys there's there's oyster shells all in here i mean and they're down deep thousands and that's all i know